Dirty John, the hit Bravo series based on the gripping true crime podcast, reveals the real life story of victim Deborah Newell, who was unknowingly seduced by a dangerous con man named John Meehan. When Deborah finally learned the truth about John's sinister past, it led to horrific violence. Today, Daily Mail TV's Los Angeles correspondent Brandi Williams is sitting down with Deborah to find out how she got taken in and how close she and her family really came to losing their lives. I married a narcissist, sociopath, predator, psychopath. Deborah Newell admits she missed countless red flags after being swept off her feet by sweet-talking swindler Dirty John Meehan, who claimed he was an anesthesiologist on their first date. We went to dinner and I loved the conversation. I loved his personality. He was really funny. Do you know where he was living? Was he homeless? According to what he told me, he had a home in Newport and he had one in the desert. Yeah, but that wasn't true. It wasn't true. Deborah, who had been married four times before, married John just eight weeks after their first date. Mom, there's something wrong with him. Do you not see that? Inevitably, John's dark side began to surface and even Deborah began to catch on. He was starting to isolate me from people. He wanted to move away. I didn't know who he was at this point and I didn't know if it would be dangerous just to walk away. Eventually, Deborah learned the truth. Dirty John Meehan was a former nurse turned felon with convictions in multiple states for drug theft, stalking, and possession of a firearm. So tell me about your breaking point. I had transferred 30,000 out of my account and he confronted me over the money. I thought, okay, I think this is it. I said, I'm leaving you and I want a divorce and get out of my way. Deborah says she was forced into hiding for seven months. During that time, John threatened and terrorized her. The emails started coming in, the text messages, he's gonna ruin me. He sent nude photos of me online, but what elevated it was he set my car on fire. Eventually, Deborah's worst fears were confirmed when John attacked her 25-year-old daughter, Tara, with a knife. Tara managed to get a hold of the weapon and stabbed John to death. I remember getting this call and my daughter screaming, Mom, 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 I just killed your husband. And I'm like, what? I get to the hospital and they say, you can't see her, but you have to go identify John. And I thought, you know, okay, I'll go identify him. Was there any there is, sigh of relief? There is relief, definitely. I think he had plans of getting my money, going to Mexico, and killing us both. Despite suffering PTSD, Deborah says her daughter Tara is doing great, and Deborah hopes her story serves as a warning to other women who are looking for love online.